Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna ship items out and I'm gonna talk about how I ship and some tips. I'm gonna show you what's sold, how much it's sold for, cause that could be interesting. Let me tell you how I ship before I start. So I feel like if you're a beginner with Depop, I think it's easier just to ship with Depop. Now here are my personal cons for shipping with Depop. I feel like Depop shipping is expensive compared to Pirate Ship, which Pirate Ship is what I recommend using if you're gonna do your own shipping. In the beginning, I personally was doing my own shipping on Pirate Ship, but the thing is, the thing why I switched, the whole amount plus the shipping go into my bank account and I'd be like, oh, look how much I made, right? I really didn't make that because I still have to pay for the shipping. So the reason I switched to Depop shipping was because that number that I would get on my Depop balance, that was all my profit going into my bank. So I would get the Depop fee, the transaction fee, and then they would pay for shipping. It wouldn't mess with how much is going into my bank, if that makes sense. And now, the beginning of this week, I went back to Pirate Ship Shipping. Everyone's Depop sales right now are going down. I had the slowest month, like I said. So if I was the buyer, do I really want to pay this much for shipping? I put $5 shipping for all my items. If it was like a jacket or something big, that's going to have to go into a priority mailbox. Then I put it to $10. It's probably going to be about $10 to $12 around there. I will talk about the USPS boxes and poly mailers and like all that in this video. I'm going to pick out all the clothes that sold while I talk about some Depop stuff. This is still available, I don't know why no one has bought it yet. When you're a top Depop seller, I don't know why I do this, because I don't feel like I'm like successful. Like I still struggle, so it's like... You get like invited to this group chat with other top Depop sellers. Not a group chat, I think it's like a website. A bunch of other Depop sellers, you know, they just talk about, you know, the struggle, I guess. I tell you, a lot of people, I'm like shook. Everyone on there has been talking how they have the worst sales. They've gone a full week without making sales. People that have been on Depop for seven plus years are trying to get jobs because they're like, this isn't working anymore like it used to. And that's scary to hear. I get everything all cute and organized and then when I need to find something, it's done with and then they end up in shambles. Honestly, for me, this week, this week was slow again. When I mean slow, I mean like I didn't make sales, obviously, but like it's not how it used to be. This time last year, I had an Instagram account that ended up getting hacked. It was when Instagram reels were becoming a thing and I would post thrift with me, thrift find videos. And I got my account to 10K, which to me, that's an accomplishment. I had reels that hit over a million views. I think I had like three or four videos that hit over a million. And like that was big for me. Like I was shook. Depop sales, good, life's good. I was starting to get sponsorships and then I got hacked. So this year I told myself, I'm gonna stop crying about it. I would be so upset and like why me? Why did this have to happen to me? Like. Is this a sign? I don't know, like I was really in my head about it. So that is why I'm trying again. I'm like, you know what, we're gonna hit 10K again. You know, just let's just do it again. So I've been posting every day, a TikTok and a reel, and now I'm doing YouTube shorts. Every time I go to thrift store, make a video. Like it's just a thing you have to do. And another thing I feel like is making sales different for me than last year. What the heck is going on with TikTok? I would get views. Now it is so hard to hit 10k views. I've been posting consistently, I feel like. I don't have the exposure on Instagram anymore or TikTok currently. Why is everything I just feel like going down? I have a feeling that this summer something's gonna happen. I don't know, I feel like I can only go up from here, you know? Money's gonna be better, everything's gonna be better. Now, to all Depop sellers out there, this is for you if you don't know this, I'm actually shook because a lot of people don't know this, so I'm gonna talk about it. USPS boxes. Get these shipped to your house if you don't already. It is free. I get the medium flat rate box. Go on the website, you can get whatever box you want. So when you're listing a new item onto your shop, you always have to put in the weight. I literally use this 
ugly food scale that I've had forever, but it works. A food scale from Walmart, super affordable. If it's under a certain weight, it's gonna be first class, which you can use anything you want. I use poly millers. I get these on Amazon. This is the 10 by 13 poly miller. It's a heavy item. You're gonna have to do priority mail and that's where you have to use these boxes. You can only use this box if it's priority mail. You can't do a first class package label on a priority mail. But if it's priority mail and if it fits in a poly mailer, you can use a poly bag or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be this box. I just use these box because like I said, it's free and normally if it's a certain weight, it's normally like a big jacket or jeans or something that, that might not fit in this bag. So that is why I use the box. Now I'm gonna show you what's sold and for how much. Maybe that's interesting because we're real here, right? My pizza got here. I am starved. Let me just like take one bite. This dress is iconic. Fairy like bottom velvet halter dress. I sold this dress for $52. This nighty still has a tag midi skirt. I sold for $32. Someone counter offered $29 for this and I accepted it. So $29. This one I had for $58, but someone offered $50. I accepted it. Early 2000s Agassi Bodycon Brown Mini Skirt. I sold this for $32. Then we have this Ballet Core Wrap Top. How does it look right now? Yeah, you like tie it. No! No, Levi! Get that! Get that! Oh my god. This one sold for $30. Then we have this cool little purse. This one I sold for $28. This one I sold for $27. I was desperate for sales, so for like about a day or two, I put all my items 30% off. And believe it or not, I only got like two sales. That's another thing that I saw on the top sellers chat. Some people are putting their items super discounted and they're still not making sales, which <sighs> times are rough. We have this early 2000s. I think these are called ponchos. I sold it for $29. So this is everything that I sold in three days. In the very beginning, I would really put in a lot of thought into my packages. And every single item that I sold, I would make it cute. Maybe it was like a ribbon. I would put my business card and I would put a scrunchie with every single item that I sold. Which I think is very important, especially if you're beginning because you just... You want those returning customers. I stopped doing that. I mean, I still like to like tie up the stickers that I would use. I would get them from Amazon. Those are getting pricier. So now I was like, okay, is it, am I like putting too much money into just extras? I need to like go on Photoshop and like do a new business card. So I just haven't done it. I need to do that. If they spend over $50 or they bundle, I still add a scrunchie. I do have a regular printer and a label printer. This is just so much more convenient just to stick it on there than to cut each label and tape each label down. You don't need it, it's not a need. Um, this was actually gifted to me, but I do recommend this one. I never have problems with it. I get the refillable labels on Amazon for cheaper than like the actual brand. My poly bags, everything that I use for my Depop shop, I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. My favorite poly mailers that I would get on Amazon, they're either like not available, I don't know why. The cherry ones were my absolute favorite. <laughs> Now that they're all packaged up, we are gonna print out the labels. I already printed all the labels. I am literally starving and I feel like I'm gonna die. Ranch and sriracha, only way to eat pizza. Here we go. It is the next day, I got super tired and it was kind of pointless because I couldn't really, I couldn't drop off my packages at night anyways. So we're gonna finish up this morning. I sold three items last night. I am telling you, if you've been having trouble with your sales, do your own shipping and do realistic 
shipping prices i have seen a big difference so depop shipping i'm not doing that anymore then i added in my bio if they bundle i'll do free shipping so that's also you know right now you just need to add little things like that so we're gonna print out those labels real quick depop um, I'm wearing the same jacket as yesterday because I literally didn't even wear it out. So I'm gonna take advantage today. I sold this 90s cow tank. It has like ties on the side. I sold this for $35. Then we have a bundle. It was this black 90s skirt. It has a cute like side slit. This one sold for $32. I don't even know what this is, but it's like super cool. Are you seeing that? It's like purple bluish. This I sold for $30. Also, yesterday I was going through my how much I made for like the week. I had a week where I didn't make sales for four days straight. That has never happened. During that time, I was like, what is wrong? What is wrong? And then that is when I changed my shipping. And I honestly think that is why I have items sold. <laughs> Tape is your best friend, so this is the tape that I always use. And I find it very affordable compared to other types because tape adds up because you're always using it. And this is the tape I get. I think I get it at Lowe's. This is also on my Amazon storefront. Thank you. 